What up, Doconners? We are going to be talking about the Supreme Kai Stone and why it is so important that you spend these items correctly and properly. Because if you don't, you will never be able to have another chance at it again. So if you're a new player or a veteran player, make sure you pay attention, especially veteran players who are in a very unique situation like I'm in, because last night we received an adjustment regarding version Z's update. Team cost has been eliminated, as we know. The team deck limits have also been changed, as we know. Last week we were told about this, and some of you rightfully so asked the question, what happens to those of us who might have spent Shenron wishes or might have spent rare currency to purchase these team cost upgrades or these overall team upgrades. Well, they are compensating us for that trouble. So they mentioned this last week that those people who might have summoned with Shenron more teams or who might have purchased more team costs are being compensated in the form of meat, keys, and the amount of Supreme Kai stones that you may have spent. For me, I spent 135 of those Supreme Kai stones. These are so rare that you will never ever be able to use them again once they run out. How do you get these? Well, that's the point of this video. So if you guys are new or old players, make sure you guys pay attention. So with my 135 Supreme Kai stones, what am I gonna be spending them on? And for those of you who are brand new to the game, what should you be spending these Supreme Kai stones on? Introducing the Supreme Kai Trials. These are the special missions that are available in quest mode. So quest mode basically gives you a little bit of extra side quests to do as you're running through the campaign. So each stage gives you anywhere from like one to three quests. I think maybe there's a couple more depending on what stage it is. But as you run through these stages, you have extra rewards that you can pick up if you do the things that they ask you to do. All in all, you can pick up a grand total of, I believe, 558 of these. Yes, you can pick up 558 of these Supreme Kai Stones and 100 of the Patara Earring Medals. These are both insanely important, so make sure to pick up all of them by going through all of the stages of quest mode and doing them all yourself. Why? Because you will have the unique privilege of picking up a LR Vegito Blue. This LR Vegito Blue is to this day one of the best free-to-play units in the entire game, and it released in January of 2018. That's crazy. This unit is phenomenal for a starting player, an amazing free-to-play unit, also can work its magic on a long-form event like the Legendary Goku event, so I highly recommend you guys make sure you take the time to farm this unit out. How it works is you buy a copy of the Vegito from the shop, awaken the unit with 30 medals, those Patara Earring medals, and then awaken it again using the remaining 70 to get the unit to the LR level. So now let's go through this shop piece by piece and decide what you should be spending these stones on. I've got a little calculator here, so assuming we've got 558 stones, this is our starting point. We've got 980 stones that need that are needed to buy out the whole shop, which just cannot be done. The number one thing you should not do here is to buy these Elder Kais. This is the mistake that I made. I wish I had seen a video talking about this back in the day, but unknowingly, I spent 200 of these Supreme Kai Stones buying these four Elder Kais. Now, under normal circumstances, I would actually suggest that you guys do this because there's nothing better than getting Kais for free. The problem is these Supreme Kai Stones are so few and far between that if you spend 200 of them on items that you can get anywhere else, it's not going to sit right with you. And in the long run, you're going to hate that. So you should be not spending on these and instead go to the 10 story events that are available in Dokkan right now during the version Z campaign and farm the 27 Elder Kais that are available there. Not only that, there are other ways to pick up Elder Kais. You can get them through login bonuses, through campaign, little rewards that they give us, special missions. You can, I would actually even say, if you wanna buy these Kais spending Dragonstones or actual money, I would encourage you do that over doing it here because that is how rare these Supreme Kai Stones are. So we're just gonna keep this out of sight, out of mind here. So these are the only options that we have left. So with these now left over, what do you pick first? The answer is Vegito, no question. You wanna have that new free-to-play LR, it's a must. So you have to have five copies of the unit. Thankfully here, they've sparsed this out into various price points. So you'd ideally wanna buy two of this for 40. You're gonna buy two of these for 60. And then you're gonna buy two of, or one of these for 40. So that's gonna total you to 140 Supreme Kai stones. That's gonna leave one Vegito left over, which you don't need, but at the same time, if you want to potentially have an extra copy of a TUR Vegito, it would actually be advised to pick this one up as well. So I'm just gonna buy that out as well. We're gonna spend 180 Supreme Kai stones to buy out 
all of those copies. Oh wait, oops. So 558 minus 180, that puts us at 378. So now we have 378 stones left over and we've got two choices left. We've got these two. These two are the only options left. Character slot extension, max stamina. And honestly, at this point, it's it's up to you. It's up to you how you are as a player. If you're a pack rat who likes to store every single possible unit you can in the game, then increasing your character slot storage might be better because that means there's going to be more panels available for you to store more characters. I've got 1,505 at the moment. I think Goresh has the most ever in the game because of a glitch. I don't remember how much that is. I think it's like 1,600 or something like that. But that is the limit as far as your inventory goes but keep in mind there are some really nice updates that have happened recently in dokkan where it actually makes inventory management a lot easier one of the biggest changes that they added a couple months ago was probably the best thing notice how my ultra instinct goku here i have nine copies of the unit they are all listed all on top of each other it's a stacked system here because they are all able to fit on one cell i don't have to have eight other cells dedicated to the ultra instinct goku if i were to lock them all i would have to but what I'm trying to say here is the inventory management has already been streamlined and it's a lot easier that I actually don't feel it is as important as max stamina, but that's just me. So if you have to decide for yourself which one you choose, it all depends on what kind of a player you are. And if you can't decide, don't spend them. Just wait until you know what you want and then buy it. But like I said, I prefer stamina. And the reason why I prefer stamina is because over time, as I've played this game, I have received my character slot extension in other ways via Pilaf's Trove. I believe we've gotten a few of them through top grossing potentially or other campaign related bonuses that Dokkan has simply given us. So there are other ways to boost your character slot extension. That being said, stamina also gets a level up every five levels of your rank. So it's not like your stamina is also never going to be expanding. You do get more stamina over time. But the more stamina you can pile on, the better, because it means you can have more runs of various events all in one full bar of stamina. This is particularly useful on things like the World Tournament, or when you're grinding out levels, or working on an event in mass. You just want to have more options to run before you have to resort to a stamina recharge via meat or dragonstone. So in my humble opinion, stamina is the better choice, which is why in my game, I spent my 135 Supreme Kai stones on stamina and I went from 309 to 318, as you can see up at the top here. So that's the choice that I made, but ultimately the choice is up to you. Now, the reason why I also suggested you pick up that extra copy of the Vegito is because you can have a TUR copy of the Vegito along with the LR. Both can stack attack and defense, both can link together very well, so it is recommended that you have both of them. The reason why you can do this is because if you have the one copy here from these six Vegitas, if you pick up that one extra copy, and then you purchase four more cop three more copies from the Incredible Gem Shop, then you can have yourself a 90% TUR, which is really good, especially for free-to-play. The only problem is that the amount of gems you're going to have to spend to get this is quite high. So if you don't have the funds for that early on, that's understandable. It'll take you some time, but it's worth the wait. And same goes for the Patara Earring Medals. You're going to need 30 of them to awaken that SSR Vegito into the TUR. So if you want to do that, you got to get those 30 medals, which will also cost you some time because you need to spend 70 gems per metal and you have to have 30 of them so that's 2100 more gems so this will add up and take you a considerable amount of time but i believe that it is worth it but hopefully this helps you guys out in making your decision so honestly with 378 supreme kai stones the choice is up to you where do you go do you go all in on max stamina do you go all in on character slot expansion do you run it down the middle it's up to you Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what choice you ultimately decided as a new player on how you allocated all of your Supreme Kai stone expenses. And if you're a veteran player with the stones that you got back, what did you buy? Did you buy stamina, character slot expansion, or did you potentially buy a Vegito that you might have missed before? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.